I've had my eye on this island for quite a while. Today, we're joined with the Sparks crew, and our target is Mohawk Island and two geocaches. I've had my eye on this island for quite a while. There was a traditional here, but that one got archived, and then a virtual was placed here, and then uh, the earth cache was added. So if you want to get all of the virtuals in the province of Ontario, you got to come out and get this one. So we're just so happy to have a calm weather day and in November to boot. <laughs> it's amazing. We're going for a two and a half, four and a half virtual and a five, five earth cache. We've made landfall and the stench is not as bad as I thought it would be, according to the logs. <sighs> it's not bad. <laughs> as the sign states, the entry onto the island is prohibited from the 1st of April until the end of August, and that's why we're here in November. Uh, during the summer months, this is a, uh, a birding colony, and you can see the leftovers of some of their nests uh, just laying around here on the beach. And uh, we're lucky to get here at uh, this time of year because usually it's a lot colder than it is now. And uh, this lake can be very, very unpredictable. Mohawk Island is a small 1.3 hectare sparsely vegetated limestone outcrop located in eastern Lake Erie. It lies approximately two kilometers southeast of Rock Point Provincial Park. The island consists mainly of open limestone barrens with an elevated gravel bar along the eastern shoreline. It is greatly affected by the strong winds that frequently overwash the entire island. The island contains the ruins of Gull Island Lighthouse, built in 1848 to guide ships to the Welland Canal. It was automated in 1933 and decommissioned in 1969. For the earth cache on this island, uh, you just need to answer uh, three questions and take a photograph. And for the earth cache and the virtual, you don't need to actually land on the island. This island, as I said before, is closed during the summer months for bird breeding. But uh, the virtual, you need to get to yourself to a specific location on the island if you're here during the time that you can be on the island. And then there are two other additional waypoints in the water to get the required photograph. For the virtual, to get your credit for this one, you have to pinch the lighthouse. For the sake of statistics, we already have a 5.5 earth cache, but we don't have a two and a half, four and a half virtual. So we're gonna add that one to our grid for virtuals, which we could do that is possible to get a complete virtual fizzy. Uh, there are enough in the world of uh, the different combinations to do it, but it would be super difficult to do. And I think there actually is someone who's either got it or is very close. Uh, really glad to get that one off our bucket list. It was so cool and, and even neater to have the, the Sparks crew with us. We definitely didn't want to do that one alone. Uh, you know, a canoe by yourself on Lake Erie. Uh, the weather is still great. It's so beautiful day and the water, the water is still flat. And uh, just nice to get that one done and have you with us. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?